Welcome back to Maritime Academia. Today, we're exploring another essential navigation method, plain sailing. By the end of this video, you'll understand what plain sailing is, when to use it, and how to calculate the difference of latitude, departure, and course angle. Let's get started. Section 1. What is plain sailing? Plain sailing is a simple navigational method used for short distances. In this method, the Earth is treated as a flat plane instead of a sphere. It assumes that a ship's track between two positions can be represented by a right-angled triangle. The four main components are difference of latitude, or d-lat, the north-south distance between two parallels of latitude, departure, the east-west distance between two meridians, course angle, the angle between north and the direction of the ship's track, distance, the hypotenuse of the right-angled triangle, representing the actual distance travelled between the two positions. Section 2. The formulas. From trigonometry, we have three key relationships. Sine of the course equals departure divided by distance. Cosine of the course equals difference of latitude divided by distance. And tangent of the course equals departure divided by difference of latitude. Section 3. Example problem. Here's a sample problem. A ship is at latitude 18 degrees north, longitude 110 degrees east. It must proceed to a destination at latitude 16 degrees north, longitude 115 degrees east. Using plain sailing, we need to calculate the following. The difference of latitude. Second, the difference of longitude. Third, the mid-latitude. Fourth, the departure, using the mid-latitude. Fifth, the distance between the two positions. And sixth, the course angle to steer, assuming plain sailing. Finding the difference of latitude. The ship starts at latitude 18 degrees north, and the destination is at latitude 16 degrees north. The difference of latitude is 2 degrees south. Now, let's convert that into nautical miles. 2 degrees multiplied by 60 minutes equals 120 nautical miles. Finding the difference of longitude. The first longitude is 110 degrees east. The second longitude is 115 degrees east. The difference of longitude is 5 degrees east. Now, let's convert that into nautical miles. 5 degrees multiplied by 60 equals 300 nautical miles. Finding the mid-latitude. To find the mid-latitude, add the two latitudes together and then divide by 2. That is 18 degrees plus 16 degrees divided by 2. The result is 17 degrees. Now that we have solved the d-lat and d-long, we can form the triangle. Since the d-lat is south, draw a line downward from the initial position. Next, because the d-long is east, draw a line to the east from the end of the d-lat line. Your right angled triangle is now complete. We just need to label it correctly. Finding the departure, the formula for departure is difference of longitude multiplied by the cosine of the mid-latitude. That's 300 nautical miles multiplied by the cosine of 17 degrees. This gives us 286.89 nautical miles. Now that we have the departure, our triangle is updated. Finding the distance. To find the distance, we use Pythagoras' theorem. Distance squared equals the difference of latitude squared plus the departure squared. That is, 120 squared plus 286.89 squared. Taking the square root of that sum gives us 311 nautical miles. Finding the course. Now that all sides of the triangle are known, we can use trigonometry. Here, we'll use the sine formula. Sine of the course equals departure divided by distance. 
That's 286.89 divided by 311. This equals 0 0.9225. Taking the inverse sign of 0 0.9225 gives us 67.29 degrees. But this is not yet the final answer. Since the difference of latitude is south, and the difference of longitude is east, the course is south 67.29 degrees east. Therefore, the true course is 180 degrees minus 67.29. That equals 112.71 degrees true. Now, we have completed the plain sailing problem. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell so you won't miss the next one.